guys, welcome back to our channel. I am Farah, the content designer here at Sarapan Studio. If you notice, our channel has changed and we are now called Sarapan Studio. We are a Malaysian grown animation and motion graphics team with fresh ideas. So don't worry, we'll be doing the same kind of content that we did for Herba Academy, but now just with a newer name. We are still in the process of building our social media accounts, but they are there already. So if you want to check us out, do follow us on these platforms. We have listed them down in the description below. Let's get straight into our tutorial today. I think about last month, there was a tweet by Entertainment Weekly. They posted their digital magazine cover that featured Zendaya and Timothy from their movie Dune. And I thought that was pretty cool. So that's what we'll be doing today. Stick around if you're interested and let's get straight right into it. So first of all, instead of just creating like the cover just like this, I thought that it would look much more nicer if we could create it on a mock-up that looks like as if it's on the table, if you know what I mean. Just search up your favorite magazine mock-up, download that, and open it in Photoshop or any platform that you use it for. So this is what I chose. So let's just check the image size. So here it's 2400 pixels times 3300 pixels. Let's copy that, bring it into After Effects. So let's create a comp. I'm going to name this new cover. All right. And according to our, the details in Photoshop, it's 2400 times 3300. Let's scale it down a bit so that it doesn't take a toll on your computer. So once you lock the aspect ratio, you can just change whatever a number that you want and let's put the frame rate to 25 duration whatever you like and press ok to create the cover let's put in our subject and then let's put in our title all right nice now what we want to do is to place this man the subject right in front of the text so we can see him and the way to achieve that is to rotoscope so what i did is i duplicated this layer double click on it and go to your roto brush tool so here what you need to do is simply just trace out your subject if you're having problems with the frame rate the quickest way i found the solution was to just re-render it to 25 frames per second on media encoder and you can just like touch up spaces that they don't detect So once you're done with rotoscope, uh, you can check the results and see how it is. If you notice like this bottom part, it's not detecting it properly, but it's fine since technically the only part that we want that's important is his face. So you can leave it as it is, or you can go ahead and try to fix that. But I'll just leave this as it is. What you want to do is to make sure you have the same footage layer below it, but without the rotoscope so now technically he is separated in front and you got your background layer in the back when you place your title right in between those two you'll have this so cool i just added a few like texts so that it looks like a magazine cover so this is my end product let's get into placing it on our mock-up from the mockup template, what I did was just exporting the base, placed it into After Effects. So I noticed in our PSD file, there are a few masks that we can use. So I just exported it as PNGs and used that as a mask by placing our design underneath and using Alpha Mask. And I also used a mesh warp effect to adjust the corners. I only use one row and one column. So the only mesh points are by the edges, by the corners of the composition. And you can move them around to fit your masks. It's pretty easy, especially if you have it from like a flat lay perspective. Once you place them in place, select all your compositions, set them to multiply you'll get to see the shadows from your base layer and it'll bleed into your composition so it will look more realistic so that is all 
you need to create this if you want to have some additional stuff i just grabbed like some shadow overlays from this photoshop file and placed it on and that's cool so that is how we create a moving magazine cover i hope you guys followed along and we learned something new today if you guys really like this content do tell us in the comments below we would like to see what you guys think of it and we would like to know what other suggestions you guys have don't forget to subscribe and like to this video i hope to see you guys in the next video